hope all of you are doing super well and in this video I wanted to give you some information on benchmarking and market analysis so we would have come across these terms and um, if you're still doubtful of what each means and then this is the video for you because I'll be giving you some information on what benchmarking is what market analysis is and what each uh, section includes in it so it's a very high level not going really into the details and specifics because um, just want to keep it at very high level and again this information is taken from the BA Bob guide so without any delay let's get into it so First of all, what is the purpose of doing benchmarking and market analysis? So you would want to do benchmarking in order to um, improve the organization's operations because you want to kind of reach a target. You have a target and you want to compare and see and you want to see if there's any room for improvement and improve the operations of the organization. You would also want to increase your customer satisfaction as well as increase the value to the stakeholders. So these are the three main um, you know, purposes of why we do benchmarking and market analysis. So coming on to benchmarking, forget about reading all this content that I've put because I'll be explaining each one. So the first one is benchmarking is conducted to compare organization practices against best in place and best in class practices. So what, as I said, so you have an organization, you have this enterprise and you would want to compare it as to how is it performing? So with what do you compare? You don't compare it with each and every organization. You need to kind of look for the best in class industries, organizations, enterprises that you would want to get at some point of time. You keep them as an either a benchmark or, a, you know, I would say like an aspiration or something that you would want to come up to the level at. So that's what you would want to compare your organization with. And the objective of benchmarking is to evaluate the enterprise performance and ensure that the enterprise is operating efficiently. So as I said, so you not only you measure it, you compare it, but you also check and see if the organization and the operations are very effectively executed. If there is going to be some issue, if there's going to be some gap, then there is a room for improvement and that calls for a change. So the results may initiate change within an organization. And where does these best in class practices and standards come from? They could come from either doing a competitor analysis of the competitor enterprises of, you know, government bodies, industry associations, and then you have certain standards for compliance, different sources you would get this information from but provided they are best in class and something that you would want to also achieve in the near future. So that's about benchmarking and what does benchmarking include? So if you see over here, um, benchmarking includes identifying the areas that you want to study. You just don't go and benchmark everything that you have in your organization. There are certain areas, certain aspects that you want to study and you would want to compare. So the first, that's the first thing you would want to do. The second one is identifying enterprises that are leaders in the sector, okay, including your competitors. So you would want to identify the leaders. You don't want, as I said, just compare any organization. Identify the leaders and then you would be able to start your benchmarking activity. The next one is conducting a survey of selected enterprises to understand their practices. So once you have selected these enterprises, you want to do a survey. So that's just one means of collecting information from enterprises. The second way is either you can use do something as request for information. So that's called as RFIs, where you gather information about capabilities. The next option is you arrange for field visits where you go to the best in class organizations and you understand their operations and activities in order for you to keep it as a benchmark and to compare your organization with. And as I said, once you have determined the gaps between the current and the best practices, then you kind of need to go in for a change that would kind of bridge the gap and align 
the organization with the best in class practices and that's where you develop a project proposal to implement all these best in class practices so i hope you got some understanding on how do you do this benchmarking just the high level steps okay and how do you gather information so the next one that we are going to see is market analysis. So market an analysis has two dimensions. The first one is it involves researching about customers, okay, to determine what products and services your customers actually need. What are the factors that influence their decisions to either purchase your uh, not only your product but to purchase a particular product or service and who are all the competitors already out there in the market so these are instances where you want to take out a product to the market or a service to the market but you're not sure whether it's going to be a big bang super hit and it's going to be in demand that's where you have to do market analysis to understand customers and what they need whether that product really do they need it or oh, it's just something that they don't need or oh, it's kind of you know um, outdated or oh, there are already players in the market offering that product at a lower rate what makes them decide to buy a particular product or purchase or service all this you need to understand in order to achieve that go to market strategy and also decide whether you should be taking a product to a particular market or industry so this is the customer point of um, you know perspective the second one is on the business side. So for the business, if you see the objective of doing this market analysis is to acquire information in order to support the business decisions, okay, within an organization. So what are these business decisions? These are decisions around determining whether you want to exit a particular market, do you want to enter a particular market, if you want to partner or you want to merge with another organization, or if you want to diversify all these different um, you know, decisions would be made only when there is sufficient information on what are all these different areas and only when you get the information you would be able to take the decision of whether you should be doing a particular uh, you know um, thing or not that is as I mentioned you're exiting merging acquiring diversifying things like that so um, though uh, benchmarking and market analysis they are really good they help you take all these decisions they help you understand where you stand and things like that still there are some drawbacks some drawbacks in the sense that this could be a time-consuming process and when it comes to benchmarking you need the right expertise in order to crunch down that information to analyze and interpret that information if you don't have the right people on the team then that's going to be of you know a little gap and a little of a you know difficulty for the organization the next one is when you check for uh, you know um, benchmarking benchmarking would help you to achieve or to come up to the best in class practices okay but it does not give you ideas in order to come up with innovative solutions so don't think about you know doing a benchmark to come up with innovative solutions or innovation it's just a way that you can start you know improving your operations and also the way the business operates by comparing best in class practices and you know uh, organizations as well the next one is when you do market um, analysis and even benchmarking getting that information would not be easy it could take probably a long period of time so it's not like you know you go and you request for information and you get it back so the information itself could be really tough to get and that's few drawbacks around benchmarking and market analysis so I hope that you got some information on what benchmarking and market analysis is and what each one includes and when do you need to do benchmarking and market analysis so if you liked this video please do give this video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to this channel and also do 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 share your feedbacks thank you